Good morning and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, we are doing a very realistic what me and my toddler eats in a day. However, the actual premise of this video is to show what my very selective <laughs> slash picky toddler eats in a day. So, you know, call it whatever you want, but at the end of the day, she 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 knows what she likes she knows what she wants to eat and you know what it's her world and we're just living in it <laughs> now so yes while she is quite selective um i will say that our girl our toddler she is almost two and a half she she will try things however she honestly like she knows what she likes and what she doesn't like so, and then of course her preferences are ever changing. So this, you know, what I'm, what I know that she likes today, she might not like tomorrow. So she's just human, whatever. But anyway, I did kind of want to show the realistic kind of menu that I prepare for her. And also because of her selective eating, I do also try to not sneak in because you know, like I don't want to create a negative association with food, but I do, you know, wherever I can and she will be accepting of it, I will put in, you know, protein or veggies or something that I know, like, so she gets her full nutrition. Um, as an, yeah. <laughs> she's like over there playing with our marble run. Um, as an added kind of disclaimer, she also, uh, she is still breastfeeding, so she does still get breast milk, so, that is also kind of a part of our kind of feeding eating journey with her is that, you know, she does get a lot of her nutrition from there as well. And also on top of that, I know that sometimes that causes her to sometimes not be as hungry. Now she really only nurses around sleep. So like when she wakes up in the morning, when she goes down for her nap, when she wakes up from her nap, and then when she goes down at night. Um, and I do, I do everything in my power to avoid any sort of midday feedings so that it doesn't interrupt her actual eating of solids. <laughs> anyway, now that we have done this very long intro, I will go ahead and get breakfast ready. <laughs> okay, so um, as I, I'm about to prepare breakfast, but I kind of wanted to show what we do for her liquid intakes. Now, most of the time she, she will accept water. It's not like an issue, but on certain days or you know certain instances when I want her to feel a little bit more hydrated or you know maybe she's um she hasn't you know gone to the bathroom in a day I mean she was fine actually yesterday like so it's not an issue today but I did want to show that I do offer juice now this one we've never tried but I offer juice um in like limited quantities and I always mix it with water and the only reason for that is because I personally find a lot of juice super, super sweet. <laughs> and not to say that I don't like sweets, because I do. But yeah, I find that juice has been, you know, it's like extra sweet. And she's not a huge fan of juice. She's really not. She actually prefers carbonated drinks, but we'll get more on that <laughs> later. Um, but yeah, so what I will do is I'll just kind of mix it. So I already put some water in here, if you can see. I don't know, just a little bit of water. And then I just add a little bit of juice. You know, and then, you know, just play with that little ratio. Maybe it's like, sometimes it's 50-50 depending on the juice. Sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's like, you know, like 70-30. Yeah, we just, we roll with it. But anyway, just wanted to show you. <laughs> okay, update. This is really good. <laughs> I got this from Whole Foods and it is sweet, but not like gross sweet, like icky sweet. But mixing it with the water has... It's a good idea, <laughs> so she'll like this one. <laughs> okay, so for today's breakfast, we are getting it. Yes, baby! Okay, so for today's breakfast, we are keeping it very simple. We are just going to toast up some, a croissant. Um, Ailey loves croissants. She is definitely more of a savory in the morning. Um, not to say that she won't accept something sweet, like pancakes or waffles or something, but She's definitely been showing her preference for like savory, salty 
foods in the morning. So we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna get a croissant toasted in the oven. This one is from like the big pack from Costco. Like we just buy them, keep a couple out in the beginning and then freeze the rest of them and they toast up just fine. So that's what this is. And then I will offer a banana. This one's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit too ripe. Um, but so I will say that she is not a fruit lover, but she will accept some fruits and they usually have to be in their whole form. So like a banana, I have to show it to her in this form and she tells me whether or not she wants to eat it and then I will peel it for her and then she'll eat it. Uh, same thing with an apple. If she wants an apple, I have to show her the whole apple and she just bites into it herself. She, I don't, she doesn't want me to cut it or anything like that. So, um, but yeah, so that's just our little thing on fruit. So if you have, you know, a toddler who doesn't accept fruit, try to offer it in its whole form and see if they take to it. The other thing that has really helped with certain fruits and things is she likes to see like she has her play kitchen and she likes to play with that version and I think that's why the association with kind of oh like this is what a banana should look like this is what an apple should look like and that's why she prefers it in its whole form <laughs> anyway let's let, let's really get this breakfast going <laughs> okay so this is what breakfast looks like very simple very basic croissant banana juice mixed with water and just coffee for me because I'm not quite hungry yet, but this is what we're working with today. Okay, so we have started breakfast. I For the croissant, it's a little bit messy, so I literally just tear off pieces and give it to her. <laughs> um, if, you know, if I'm feeling, you know, like devil may care, I will just give it to her because she will eat it, but this is, this just makes the life easier for me and for her. And we just, we both get our chill time. So that's just what we do. So that's, that's real life. Um, and then I wanted to mention, cause she still does take vitamin D. So I just use these little drops and then whatever, like the first or two bites or whatever, I just literally drop a drop and that's how she gets her vitamin D. Cause, um, her pediatrician did recommend that she still take vitamin D. I think that's because she doesn't drink milk. Like she doesn't drink whole milk or cow's milk. Um, one because of the breast milk and then also she just you know she doesn't like it um but that's probably because of the breast milk but she does get dairy like she you know she eats cheese she'll eat yogurt sometimes she gets dairy in other forms but he was just like just give her the vitamin d because you know what does it hurt it doesn't and even though we live in vegas um just you know going out is not enough that's not enough vitamin d especially for you know um a, a toddler so that's there's a long-winded story about vitamin D. <laughs> anyway, we're going to eat, we're going to hang out, and then we'll see you for probably lunch, if not a snack, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Realistic uh, post-meal, <laughs> what was eaten. Basically, she had, I don't know, maybe like a third of the croissant. I ate a little piece too. She licked her banana, <laughs> and she is just chilling on her juice for now, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Snack time. Hershey's kiss. Old fish. Enjoy. Okay, hello. It is a little past 12, which means it is time for Ailey's lunch. So, we are doing something, it's basically one of her staples. Um, it is going to be rice. Now I pre-make rice um, in our big rice cooker over here. <laughs> um, and like usually I take it and make it because we're having some dish that requi require <laughs> requires rice that day. Um, but I'll always make more than we need so that I can kind of individually pack and freeze um, rice to use like super quick whenever I need it and I need it a lot. So this is what I do. I basically just stick it in a Ziploc bag, freeze it, and then I will microwave it, um, like let it open up and vent a little and microwave it in the microwave for about like a minute and a half, depending on like how big the package is. But usually it's about this size would be a minute and a half. Um, so what we are making is rice with butter, soy sauce, and honestly, like even that's enough. Like if you've never had this combo, it is 
delicious. It was one of my favorites as a kid. Um, but for Ailey, and honestly, like, like any anybody can do this, like with like almost any meal, like if you think that you can handle it. <laughs> um, but what I do is because Ailey is not a big fan of meat or vegetables, <laughs> um, what I do is I add in an egg for protein and I add in some vegetable. Usually it is green squash or yellow squash, any of the squashes or like chopped up broccoli. Um, and I just mix it in with her rice or whatever else I may be serving her. So like that can, that works for like noodles or um, doesn't work for, I guess, a ton of things, maybe more like Asian things. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's what I do. And this is what I mean by like, I don't like sneak it in, but I do sneak it in like, cause it's visible. Like I don't hide it in the food and I always show her what she's eating, but you know, I'm also like not making a big deal of it. Like I'm not highlighting it and you know, it just, it just becomes part of the meal. So as much as I can do to normalize like protein, vegetables and add in those nutrients when I can, I will. So the idea is that, you know, like to slowly expose her to things um, and like in very small amounts, but like this has become a staple. So. I think one of the next things I might do is to start adding a little bit more meat um, and maybe some different vegetables, but like that is, it's a slow process. I'm not like trying to change it right away because, you know, on the one hand, like while I want to expose her to different things, especially things that like we eat, like if it was something that we never ate at home, I wouldn't even bother honestly because my personal opinion is that she can go and experience that on her own. like. I, like for me, like I don't eat mushrooms or bell peppers. Not to say that, you know, that's that's a good thing, but I just like, I just don't, so we don't really have it. But if she were to ever go out and want to try it herself, I would, you know, that's on her, that is her choice. But for right now, you know, we're not gonna buy things that we wouldn't eat as a family, or at least like one of us, like me or Bernard, my husband, like one of us wouldn't eat. So that is the idea. Anyway, let's whip this up and I will show you the finished product. Okay, so this is it. This is the rice with egg and soy sauce and zucchini and butter. And I tell you, it is delicious. And with the add-ins, it is now nutritious. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, so while I am feeding her lunch, I figured I'd um, kind of just do a little quick chit chat, just, just to go over a few things and like, um, whatnot. <laughs> So if you don't know our history in terms of like feeding, we did follow baby led weaning with her and I was definitely that first time mom. I was like, we're gonna do baby led weaning. You know, she's not gonna be a picky eater. She's gonna eat everything. You know, we're gonna skip puree, blah, 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 all that stuff. Now, while I still agree with those, like the ideas and like, um, like the research behind it and all that stuff, um, I now, you know, two, th like almost two and a half years later, I've, you know, I've come to the point where I realized every kid is different. Like you, you're, there's no blanket set of um, rules or standards or whatever that you can follow that, you know, will apply to every child. And, you know, I've learned that with her sleep. I learned that with her feeding, I've learned that with her, be you know, like all those things. So I think what I've done is, you know, I've definitely let go of a lot of things. Um, I think, you know, a lot of things used to stress me out, especially when I was doing like, like tracking things and like all that stuff. Like, honestly, like first time mom, like you're going to do all those things, right? And anyway, I've come to the point where I basically don't feel it necessary to add on the battle of forcing my child to eat things she doesn't want to eat if she's getting the nutrition that she needs. Does that make sense? Like, you know, if I'm making sure that she's getting, you know, vegetables, protein, good fats, like things like that, and dairy and, you know, all the things that she would need to grow as a healthy child, then I don't see the point in trying to force her to become an adventurous eater when she's clearly not by nature. Yeah? 
like some kids, I think they're born eaters for sure. Like born to try everything, you know, they're not scared of food and, you know, they're willing to just, you know, be adventurous and all that stuff. And that's great, but that's not her. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my Ailey <laughs> and I'm I'm completely okay with it now I've come to that point where I'm like I don't mind adjusting meals to her especially when I know she won't eat it I will of course always I will always show her things I will always offer her things but you know I don't I don't go in with the high expectation that she will take to it if she does great that inside I'm doing it like a crazy happy dance if she doesn't I let it go. <laughs> anyway, um, and then, oh, and then the lunch that I was eating, um, cause I didn't have a cheese. <laughs> yes, baby, yeah. Oh, not yet? Okay, sorry. Yay! She's just playing her game next to me. Um, the thing, oh, um, the curry that I was eating before, so Bernard made chicken cutlets um, last night, and so we just stuck them in the air fryer, and we ate it with the Japanese curry that I made. Um, that, was one of my favorite dishes as a kid. Um, I don't know at what age I started eating it, but I loved it as a kid, especially because my mom would put up, like, cut up little hot dogs in there. So good. And honestly, like a really good way to get in vegetables because you don't even notice that they're there and they're really cooked down, so it's like soft. Um, so like in the one that we make, it's just potatoes, onions, and then a the bag of like frozen mixed veggies. So it's like green beans, peas, I think it was corn, carrots and stuff. So yeah, a really good way to like get in a lot of nutrition. And you can even add protein to the curry mix, but just cause I knew that we were eating it with the chicken, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, those are the kind of dishes that I grew up on. And I hope that she will also like, because that is a good way to get in a lot of good stuff in maybe not the best way, <laughs> but still a really good way, like delicious. Hi, baby. You ready for more? <laughs> I think we're getting a little bit too close to nap time, but it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. So I, I, I don't even know if I finished my thought, but basically what it comes down to is I am, Yay. all I'm focused Yay. on is making sure that my child is happy, healthy, well fed, well rested, all those things as best I can. And I do not need to force anything on her because she will, you know, it is just my job to guide. I cannot force her to do anything. <laughs> all right, anyway, I'm gonna finish feeding her lunch, then she will go down for her nap and we'll probably see you post nap, snack time, unless we do early dinner. I don't know, we'll see, but I'll see you later. Also, big fan of Waterloo's around here, including this little miss. So I just stick a straw in here for her. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be her beverage with lunch. Okay, that's all, bye. So no, this is not midway through the meal. This is it, she doesn't want it anymore. <laughs> we had two, three bites and we're done, I guess. Such is life with a toddler. Okay, now really, bye. Okay, so. It is about 4.30. Ailey woke up a little bit after three, came downstairs and finished her lunch. She ate quite a bit, if you can tell. The bowl was pretty full. Um, so today's gonna be one of those weird days where she's going to have a light dinner a little bit later than normal, and that's okay. <laughs> but yes, so she did eat, and now she's just gonna play, because she's all done. light dinner. <laughs> Ailey has chosen the menu herself. She has already uh, bathed because uh, she went so you know she was ready to bathe. <laughs> um, so she chose cereal and an apple. Not sure if she will eat the apple but she will definitely eat Yay. her cereal. Yes. Um, and then it is just the generic brand of uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Good job. Put it in the bowl. In the bowl. In the bowl. There you go. Okay. 
So what I didn't show and wanted to document <laughs> was that I did have two, why is this closed all of a sudden? Anyway, I had two pieces of chocolate from our Ethel M box that we got um, on Sunday, I think it was, yeah, Sunday. Yes, baby! Um, and then Ailey did have a piece of milk chocolate from her box, which was gifted to her by her little friend, Riley. <laughs> That was just for documenting purposes. Okay. So, most of the cereal was eaten. <laughs> eaten. Apple was not touched, as expected, but hey, at least, you know, she had the interest in it. <laughs> and that is going to be it for this What We Eat in a Day. The only thing I'm going to be doing is chugging a ton of water because I'm so thirsty. I must have forgotten to drink water today, but anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna do the last few dishes and then we are going to close the kitchen, head upstairs and just hang out until bedtime. So thanks for following along and I hope, you know, this video either gave you some ideas or, you know, just simply let you know that you're not alone if you also have a picky toddler or selective toddler, <laughs> selective eater, as I sometimes like to say, um, you know, not not every person, every child will eat everything in front of them and that is okay as long as, you know, you are happy and healthy. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.